What's up guys? Bitcoin's at a new all-time high. Will it continue? We're going to take a look at the bullish targets. We're also going to take a look at some things that are showing some bearish signs that we need to keep an eye on. Also, we're going to be taking a look at Litecoin, Ethereum, the Dow Jones, DXY, gold and silver make sure you stick around for the whole video the traditional stocks will be at the end definitely don't forget we have a free discord group in the description below the video definitely check it out it's totally free awesome community great group of people definitely check it out let's get into it All right, guys, as always, this is not financial advice, trading advice, nor is it investment advice. And don't forget, we do a free Ledger Nano S hard wallet giveaway. We do that every Monday. All you have to do to enter to win is make sure you scroll down, subscribe to the channel, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments below. That will get you entered to win. All you have to do is leave a comment. All right, let's take a look at the bullish case. So this is the possible inverse head and shoulders that we were watching. And also I'm keeping an eye on this RSI down here. You can see it's making a wedge. A daily close above this could get extremely bullish. We could definitely get to our 70 or higher. Um, so definitely keep an eye on this. Also, we have broken out. We've definitely uh, broken out. So if we take a measured move of that, measure the length of the head to where we broke out, that gets us up to about that 69.9 to 70,000 range. That is the measured move target of this. There are some things looking bearish first, but let's take a look at all the other bullish targets. So this one, we've been watching this as a rising channel. Um, we've gotten three touches on the bottom, two on the top. We do have this possible wedge forming here with the blue line up top that top would get us to around 66 7 somewhere in that range depending on if and when we hit it otherwise if we break down below this bottom trend line guys it's gonna get ugly but as of right now like i said uh we could get up to 66 to seventy thousand dollar range our volume's still pretty low um if you guys are interested in trading check out prime xbt my favorite exchange I'll leave a tutorial up top on how to use their margin, also how to use co-vesting where you can invest in other traders, or um, Turbo, which is also another fun way to trade crypto, but definitely check it out if you haven't already. You can trade crypto, Forex, gold, silver, oil, S&P, Dow Jones, everything all from one exchange. They also use uh, USDC and USDT now so you can use that in there to get in and out of Bitcoin or whatever you're trading so definitely check it out you can use my promo code savvy 50 that'll get you 50% on top of whatever you deposit so if you put in 500 you'll get $250 free to use towards your margin savvy 25 will get you 25% off your fees all right, let's take a look at this rising broadening wedge that we have also been watching for quite some time here. And our targets off of this. Another way to look at this, this is in the four hour, and we were looking at this as a possible rising broadening wedge. That one would get us up to about the 73 to 74,000. Um, I would look more towards that 75, which would be retesting the top of this rising broadening wedge if that was to happen we had this old target of 62820 we did break that if this continues as support i'm going to get that out of the way now if this turns into new support then we definitely could be going up to these higher highs watch for this if we break back down below this uh 625 range and i'd be looking for a retest of the 59 to 58 thousand dollar range here if we break this bottom trend line then it goes bearish but as long as we're above um, I remain bullish here, although our RSI is pretty high right now. Uh, we'll keep an eye on this and looking at the one hour. So looking at the rising broadening wedge in the one hour, um, we were looking at this yesterday. If we zoom in here as this being a possible inverse head and shoulders in the measured move of that, we measure the head to the neckline and over to the breakout gets us around that 70 or 67 two range which would be the top of this rising broadening wedge. Now, if that was the case, if we do get up here, retest this, and then fall all the way back down here, if we do break this bottom trend line, and depending on if, when, and where we broke it, 
uh, that would be getting us down to approximately a low $40,000 range. If we break this high up here, uh, if we break this top trend line, then we remain extremely bullish. Um, let's take a look at 15 minutes. So in the 15 minute, we were watching this rising channel. Uh, we were watching this for a breakout right here yesterday. Our measured move of that up oh, gets us around that 65,000. And that's just looking at this as a triangle to where we broke out. So that's definitely a possibility. Um, the top of this as of right now is around the $65,000 range. So if this is the case, this is a rising channel. We break above that 65,000 range. Uh, that gets us up to about the 70 to $73,000 range that's breaking the top of this channel. I would be pretty confident in it if we broke out, came back down to retest it before continuing up. Uh, otherwise, like I said, if we come down and break this bottom of this channel at some point here, we have had two touches up top, two touches on the bottom. Um, could get that one more touch up here. Watch if we do around that 65,000. If we do come down from there, then that also gets us down to that 51,000 range that we looked at a minute ago. All right, so we were looking at this as a possible wick off methods distribution phase. Obviously, this one is no longer valid. We broke the UT again, but we've had this one that we were looking at for quite some time now. Now, we've taken a look at all the bullish cases. Let's take a look at the bearish case now. We need to take everything into uh, perspective. You need to take a look at it all. So anyways, let's... We I had this dr line drawn in here showing the wick off method forever. Also, I want to point out that the funding rate is extremely high right now, so be cautious of that. Um, let's see. So this is the distribution schematic for the wick off. And if you, as you can see here, um, this seems to be playing out beautifully. I drew this blue line in here about three weeks ago, possibly about a month ago. Uh, it was quite some time ago anyways, almost a month ago. And it seems to be playing out here. The top of that would get us to as high as that 60, 65. It doesn't mean it has to go up there, but it does leave us room to get up into that 65 range. And as you can see over here, uh, once you do that, you break back down below your resistance lines. So keep an eye on these resistance lines here. A break of this 58.5 range. And you know, if you've been watching channel, 58.5 has been important for, for a long time. Uh, if we break back below that and it becomes resistance, then I do see us coming down quite, quite far. And we, as in phase E of the distribution phase, it's still a possibility here. So keep that in mind, guys. Also want to discuss the PI cycle top. Um, every time Bitcoin has had a major top over here, the PI cycle top has called it. I'm not sure when this indicator was made, but regardless, it does um, do a good job of it. Over here in 2013, it wasn't the greatest call, but we have hit that cycle top again. Also, if we look at the RSI here, um, we are in this rising channel. And watching this trend line here, let me zoom in so you can see it. Uh, watching this trend line here, and it's a little bit different when we pull it in close, but uh, watching this trend line here, a daily close above this, and I would probably say we're going to go up to that $70,000 range, but keep a close eye on this in your RSI. But let's take a look at this PI cycle. All right, now it doesn't call the top on the exact day or the exact moment. Let's zoom in and check these out. And if we take a look at it here, I called the top on the 5th of April, and we had one, two, three, four more days of rising. It actually rose from 150 all the way up to 250, so about 60% higher before the top was actually in. But be careful because you can see what happened when the top w did come in. Um, let's look over here in 2017. 2017 was about a one, two, three, four, five days off when it called the top. Oh, nope. Actually, this one called it on the day, I believe. Let me zoom in there. No, it called it about four or five days after. 
um if we zoom in if we go over to where we're at now that was in 2013 let's take a look at 2017 and 2017 called it the day before the top so this is something to definitely keep in mind guys also i want to point out that as you can see this is the our fibonacci channels here uh, we had got rejected in both 2013 and 17 at this top trend line and the 0.236 is where we are at now also if you see the white lines here those are parabolic rises once we broke that parabolic rise the bear market began and that was usually after the pi cycle top um, there is a chance we could have a cycle top like this and get a 50 percent correction or so and then continue up for the end of the year and get up to that two hundred thousand dollar bitcoin that is the extremely bearish or bullish case scenario but let's zoom in here so we had this target of 63.8 and i did this on the three-day chart uh, when i made this so let's go over to the three day chart well let's not anyways we have hit that trend line again that top trend line see what happens here like i said the pi cycle top has called and it called it yesterday so it does seem that we could be at or near our top of either the top or right before a major correction um again keep an eye on this daily rsi down here and let's take a look at oh the four hour oh litecoin so this is again rising broadening wedge our measured move for litecoin for the breakout of this triangle was approximately 300 to 350 dollars and that would be retesting the top of this trend line again we have to watch we are creating bearish divergence here on the four hour we're making higher highs in the price lower highs in the rsi that is bearish divergence so be cautious here um does look like we most likely come up we talked about that yesterday to the 300 to the 350 range now the very bullish case scenario is we break up out of this rising broadening wedge and that gives us a measured move of around 470 to 500 dollar range somewhere in that area so watch this top trend line otherwise if we break below this bottom trend line you know what happens after that and ethereum so ethereum we were watching this rising channel we have broken out of the rising channel it does look like we came down to test it as support as long as this holds as support and right now that lies around the 2260 range if that holds as support our measured move of the break up from this rising channel is about the 2760 range uh, if we break above that and get support we could be coming to test the top of this rising broadening wedge around the three thousand dollar range super bullish case scenario we break that top trend line and continue up to the 4400 range um, i would just be extremely cautious with everything going on uh, like i said we're going to look at the dow jones dxy and uh gold and silver next i do want to show you some things in those charts so definitely stick around and don't forget to check out my wife's webpage inkerimage.com she has a lot of cool gift ideas on here she does this all herself it's all quality stuff she can put pictures on wood glass aluminum um, sayings whatever you want on any of this stuff there's also a crypto section if you have a, a favorite coin or a favorite project she can also put whatever you want on there just hit her up in the contact and let's look at the dow jones so dow jones we've been watching this bearish divergence been it's been about almost a three-year divergence right now and i do believe i know everybody thinks that it's just going to continue up forever and i i get it it feels like that but that's usually how the top of bubbles feel so be cautious um it does look like it is trying to turn around the dow is looking like it is ready to dump in my opinion dxy we are getting some downward pressure here and as you guys know i'm watching the three day chart um, we could go as low as the 91.7 range and i would still feel safe as long as we get a bounce there that's the 21 ema as long as we stay above that 91.7 now i remain 
bullish for the next year or two on the DXY because of this fractal. Seems to be playing out beautifully. It's also playing out in the MACD and the RSI down here. So that's that's telling me that we probably have a year or two of rise and it doesn't shoot up like Bitcoin. It's the dollar index, guys. Um, this is the dollar index overlaid on Bitcoin. And as you can see, the dollar index is green and the bottom trend line. Every time the dollar bottoms here, Bitcoin is at or near its top. Every time we touch this top trend line on the dollar, Bitcoin is at or near its bottom. Um, so I'm looking for the DXY to come up here. Now, I know everybody thinks the DXY is dead. Um, and everybody now is talking about them replacing it with the digital dollar. Yes, I think that's possible. Do I think that's going to happen right away? I do not. Maybe in the next year or two, when the dollar gets up and tests this trend line one more time, I'm looking for that. I will buy a Bitcoin hodl position if the dollar gets back up in here with by next year or like I said, within a year or two, I'll be watching this trend line closely. Um, if we do get up there, as you can see, that's a great buying zone for Bitcoin. If we put it up every time it bottomed or every time it topped, Bitcoin bottomed, as you can see here. So that's what I'm watching with that. Now let's take a look at our gold chart that we've had since November. We are playing around that support resistance of 1736. I still believe we're going to get down to at least the 1650 range. And if that breaks 1450, if that breaks, it gets really bad. Silver, um, like I said, we could come up and retest this top of this channel here. Still looking at it possibly, uh, but it's got to get past this 55 EMA first. And that's around 25.7. Um, it's not looking promising, but if it does, I could see it going as high as 27 before dumping down. But my target on silver uh, first off, being the measured move of this rising channel is about 20 bucks, as low as 13 bucks is a possibility. Um, and that's looking at this whole thing as a wedge here and where we broke down. So that's what I'm looking at, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Don't forget to smash that like. Leave your comments below. Share the video if you would. And uh, let me know what you think in that comment section below. Take it easy, guys. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking the Crypto Savvy logo above my head. And I'm out.